Hello, Baron Dipitis here with another video for the board game shelf. Um, last time I showed off Mysterium, and here we have the smaller version, Mysterium Park. Um, as I mentioned in the Mysterium video, um, as much as I like Mysterium, one thing that bothers me sometimes is how much sort of like work or extra stuff there is. Um, and this is basically a compact version. Um, you can see that instead of being set in a mansion, this is... Um, it's still the same basic premise, except instead of a mansion, it's a, uh, well, a, a circuit, like a, a circus, basically, or an amusement park of some kind. Uh, this is the board for it. Uh, and essentially, you just, uh, you, you put cards. Um, so there's a little bit of, uh, if you've ever played code names, um, there's actually a little bit of that in there. So, for example, the ghost will have a card that looks like this, um, that will have, th like, different uh, different colors and things like that, right? And in each of these slots on the board, they need to put, um, oh gosh. So these are these are the abstract, uh, hold on, give me a second. All right, so these cards right here are the abstract art cards, so that has not changed, right? Uh, all kinds of random things. Um, there's fun little uh, ticket tokens for, um, I think it's something about like, you know, second or third chance, uh, for, first, second or third chances or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, also, you know, the, you know, those, the, the mystics are once again trying to figure out the person, place, and, or thing. So person cards, once again, look like, look like these and you, um, you place them all around, um, on, on each slot, you know, keep going, you know, on and on like that. Um, are these all? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, person cards, obviously people in the carnival, and then location cards, you know, locations around the carnival, and then are there items? No, I think it's just, it's just uh, people and locations, and that's it, I think. Um, it's a much more streamlined version of, of uh, Mysterium. But yeah, so um, the ghost gets a card like this, and once again is not allowed to, like, say anything, really. And essentially, this tells them which, which, uh, so because there's going to be a slot, there's going to be a card in each of these slots, uh, nine slots on the board, right? Um, this is basically going to tell them, um, uh, each player is going to have a, a color, and the ghost needs to tell the blue, e the ghost needs to try to lead the blue player to guess the one in this spot, lead the pink player to guess the one in this spot, and so on and so forth. Um... And then I think this is like the um, the spot that you want to avoid, essentially. So yeah, like code names where you're trying to you know use very limited clues to steer um, you know, your fellow players towards cert a certain uh, outcome, right? Uh, once again, we have these fun little uh, uh, crystal ball tokens, and yeah, it's just a much shorter, much more streamlined version of Mysterium. Uh, much more compact. I really do appreciate that about this. Um, once again, the art, uh, you know, as as one might expect, the art is phenomenal. Um, and yeah, it just uh, it just doesn't really have nearly as much fluff or things to deal with as Mysterium. Uh, I will say that the challenge of trying to get people to guess something based on a, an abstract image is still there. Like the, the fundamental challenge that I have with Mysterium is still present in this game. So if that's a problem for you, then I imagine you probably wouldn't want this. But I, I do appreciate the, the, the different theme. Um, of course, the art is rather pretty. And I appreciate how compact this is. Like I could, I could, I could much more easily travel with Mysterium Park than with Mysterium. And I very much appreciate it for that. And it's much easier to teach as well and, and much easier to set up. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, all the best.